Hi, it's Mrs. Scarcella. Today I wanted to work on some writing skills without using paper and pencil. So like I said on my lesson plan, today you will need some Play-Doh, a flat surface to work on, and a pencil. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your student work with the Play-Doh and flatten it out. Try to get it as thin as you can without having holes in it, okay? And what a great fine motor activity already to have them working with it with their hands, flattening it with their palms. Play-Doh is always fun to work with, okay? Now, whatever you're, you're working on with your child, whether it be a line down, a line across, what I would do is I take your pencil and do that particular line. And let's just say it's a line down and really dig deep in there. So whenever you ask your student to trace, it kind of has a nice path. And so it's easier for them to trace. They won't go off the path uh, like they do with paper and pencil because they almost have this little ditch that they're working in. So if they need hand over hand to start at the top, that's fine and get them to trace. And then of course, try on their own. Now they might have a hard time the first couple times because they're still learning how hard they need to press and pull. But you can help them by just providing a little bit of pressure and guiding their pencil down, okay? So you can do that for lines down or lines across. When working on a circle, I really love doing that with Play-Doh because it, it actually slows them down and they're thinking about how to form the circle, where's the next place they're going to put their pencil. So I actually kind of form it in a circle myself. And along the outside, I'm just covering up what we've just done. And along the outside here, I'm going to draw a circle. And like I said, you wanna, you want it to be a little thick so they can get their pencil in there and trace. So I might go back over it one or two times to make sure that there's a nice little divot there that they're able to get their pencil in and trace around, okay? And another thing, if, if, you're, if your student's having a hard time um, knowing where to start, whether it's at the top um, of the circle or the top of the line, you can always use, I have these uh, little fuzz balls that are color coded, but if you're working on a whiteboard, you could color code some dots. Um, if you're working on a white sheet of paper, you can just use markers and, and make some colored dots, okay? So I'd say, okay, let's start at yellow. All right, let's go to green. And next, we're going to go to red. Up to purple and back to yellow. And remember, when we're working on a circle, we always want them to start at the top and make the letter C. So they're going to be going counterclockwise, okay? Like that. Let me know how they do. I hope you um, have a great day. If you need anything, just contact me. Thanks, bye.